the Washington Commanders hold off Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. And I tell you, um, I wasn't honestly wasn't expecting this game to come down to the wire like this. Um, with the way the game got started, it looked like that Aaron Rodgers and company was going to just kind of roll over the Washington Commanders. Um, Taylor Haneke started off rough, uh, very rough. He was late on all of his passes, uh, got picked off a couple of times, one of those for pick six, um, lost a fumble there. I mean, he just he played about as badly as a quarterback in the NFL could actually play. I mean, there were a lot of fans <clears throat> on social media that was uh, pretty much saying, hey, we've seen enough of Taylor Haneke. Let's go ahead and put in Sam Howell and see what he can do. And then after that pick six, it was a different t- Taylor Haneke. He it looked like he kind of calmed himself down, uh, came back out. Actually, probably really what happened was we got a running game started. Uh, you know, Brian Robson came in, um, had – Good hard running. Antonio Gibson, man, he was a weapon for us today. Both of those guys together. um, Brian Robson had over 73 yards on the ground. Antonio Gibson had 59 yards on the ground. So, you know, that was one of the keys that I felt in order for this team to kind of start turning things around in the season, that you needed to establish a running game. They certainly established the running game today. They needed to because that offensive line was getting pushed backwards on passing downs quite a bit. I saw that a lot in the first half, and I think that led to Taylor Heineke obviously, um, you know, suffering the way he did at the beginning there. But, you know, the offensive line kind of settled down a little bit. The running game helped us out, and then Taylor Heineke finally got things started. He, he ended the game um, at 20, uh, 20 out of 33 attempts, uh, 201 yards passing, uh, two touchdowns, uh, one interception. That was uh, – well, I thought he had more than one interception. But um, anyway, I think that's wrong. I think he did have two interceptions. Did he not? I thought he did. Anyway, um both him and Rodgers had pretty similar stats. Rodgers was 23 out of 35 uh, for 194 yards. So, you know, both guys, the only difference really was Aaron didn't throw any picks. But Aaron had a very rough day today uh, and still very nearly pulled out a victory for his Green Bay Packers. Honestly, Washington had very many opportunities that they could have really wiped out the Packers. Um, They had no trouble. Once they got things going, they had no trouble moving the ball into the red zone. They just could not seem to punch it in on several tries. But, you know, Heineke didn't force anything. Um, You know, he threw the ball away when he needed to. You know, we took the three points when we could, or at least a three-point attempt. I know that Sly missed one of those. But overall, you know, it was a good win for the Washington Commanders. They're three and four right now, and, um, you know, (laughs) that is uh, much better than one and four. Uh, We were really looking at a horrible season. Still, I mean, you know, things are... Things are still way ahead of us right now. You know, you're, you're having to chase... Philadelphia Eagles team that is undefeated at 6-0. Um, you know, Giants, I believe, did the Giants lose their game today? You know, there's one thing that I did not look at. And by the box scores, it looks like, um, no, the Giants did win today. So uh, the Giants uh, remain, was it, 5-1, and 6-1? and one. Um, The Cowboys won today as well so you know I think they're five and two so you're still chasing you're still way behind you know the other teams in your division but you know things look better at three and four than certainly what they did a couple of weeks ago Um, seems like a different team when Taylor Heineke is in there you know Taylor Heineke he's he's a gunslinger Um, he Taylor's, no pun intended, his uh, game uh, after Brett Favre. That's why he wears number four. He was grew up a big uh, Brett Favre and Packers fan. So, 
you know, Taylor, he's that gunslinger, you know, he's going to fight it out. He's the underdog. And, um, you know, I think that's the reason why a lot of fans love him. Now, fans did not love him in that first half whatsoever. I mean, he was horrible. Even I, at this point, was thinking, yeah, Taylor, he's going to have to go, you know, take him out of there. Let's just see what Sam Howell can do. A lot of a lot of fans were really calling for Sam Howell. Um, I was not, of course, at the game, but from what I heard, speaking of what fans were calling for, and sound like fans were calling for the Snyders to sell the team, and they were booing Tanya Snyder at halftime when she came out um, to speak, you know, on behalf of the 90th uh, cere- uh, 90th year ceremony, and um, you know, signs of Dan sell the team were getting. Uh, taken by security, uh, security telling fans that they can't have those signs. You can't wear the uh, the trash bag on your head. I mean, hey man, it's free speech. It's free speech. I don't get that. You know, I mean, taking signs away like that, I thought was kind of rude. Yeah, I understand. Maybe it's uh, you know you're trying to make this a happy day. And it was a happy day for the most part. And you had all the Redskins greats. They were not commanders. They were Redskins. You had all the Redskins greats who came out uh, to be recognized, uh, which was uh, very good to hear. But, yeah, I mean, you know, I, taking the, the signs away from the fans, I thought that was kind of lame. Overall, though, you know, very good win. Honestly, though, the commanders could have won this game by a whole lot more than what they did. They controlled the clock. They controlled uh, time of possession. They had a lot more, uh, I think, total offense as far as yardage goes. I'm trying to see it. The team here. Da, 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 da. Um, uh, I'd have to look at the whole stats, but I know overall, uh, at one point, I think they were triple uh, the total offense, maybe even more than that than what the Green Bay Packers were. So, you know, honestly, Washington controlled this game, and if not for a couple of really bad turnovers, uh, Washington probably would have really um, pounded the Packers, but... Given that Washington is who they are, you know, they kept the Packers around. Um, you know, we're not able to convert a couple of uh, scoring drives into touchdowns, had to settle for field goals, kept the Packers in there. I thought that last drive by the Packers, you know, they got saved by penalties. Um, the officiating crew was just horrible all day long today. Um, there was one extremely obvious uh, roughing the passer penalty that was not called. But overall, you know, I think that um, I think that overall the the team did a very good job today. So um, I, I just really I really appreciate the effort. Uh, let me know in the comments section what you thought about the game. Uh, if you enjoyed it, um, let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in the next one. And there's my son in the back. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.